What's up everybody, it's Vivid. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get triple hundreds or maybe even double hundreds very quick and very easy. Doesn't take too much other than a few engrams and some of your time. So uh, as you can see, Bob here, Bob the Builder, he has his nice triple hundreds, resilience, recovery, and discipline. And, oh, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Inventory, you can see I have 95 wish and witch engrams. So we are going to take a trip to the helm because those are my highest. You can do them with any vendor that you can stack up a ton of engrams with and you can focus armor. I prefer the helm because I do like playing this game. And when I do play this game, I level up the seasonal stuff and I have a bunch of engrams that I don't really know what to do. So what I do with my time is I go over there and try to get some stats. I know over here though, this isn't your traditional seasonal armor actually none of it is which might turn some heads at this video being not as informative but i have brought multiple people and i am bringing my other two characters up to those double hundreds triple hundreds is a little bit of a stretch we're gonna have to do some uh, optimizing to actually obtain it but it's still not difficult over here we have fabled three i don't even remember how i got this don't even care though wish engrams i have 95 of them i don't really plan on getting any of these weapons anytime soon maybe for the uh the red border but we're going to take a right over to the armor as you guys can see focusing with the high resilience stat due to equipped ghost mod that's the one thing i forgot to show my ghost mod has resilience armor on this is very important this is one of the only ways that you're going to guarantee a stat spike what that means is that my resilience armor will buff the chances of my resilience being super spiked it can buff it to me having 30 it can buff it to me having high 20s and then high 20s in another stat but uh instead of just saying i might as well show you guys let's grab some uh let's grab some armor helmet 22 resilience right there chest plate 23 resilience right there boots 26 that's just showing it and that's that's first roll i'm definitely not going to keep that though but this is a piece that I consider keeping, especially if I'm just trying to get double hundreds. I throw a discipline mod on there. I masterwork it. We're looking at a very good chest piece. The helmet, that can go. I don't really need that. But for the triple hundreds, it's going to take a little bit more than just a few pulls. It's actually going to take the use of Dim. Uh, Destiny Item Manager. For those of you who may or may not know... Dim is probably one of the most used websites by any Destiny user. It is very quick and very easy to grab some guns, grab some armor, make some loadouts. So we are actually going to take a look at my Dim. So now we're in my Dim, and this is actually for my Hunter because I have a lot of Titan builds. So I just want to keep it slim and sleek just so if you haven't used Dim before and you're heading on here, this is what it's going to look like. It's probably going to have equipped here. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to be actually be in your inventory. You're going to click loadouts up here and loadout optimizer. Then what you're going to, I'm going to switch back to my Titan. So it actually makes more sense. Uh, all over here, you have your priority ranges that you can hit. So, uh, let's say I wanted a recov discipline and strength, right? So let's say I want, uh, I want nine strength. I want nine discipline and I want nine recovery. It will optimize. Let me throw on an exotic. Let's throw on. Uh, I saw a lot of. I saw a lot of. Um, worm God. So we're gonna put on Worm God here for my filter. So right now I have what six maybe six loadouts that I can use that will get me tier nine strength, tier nine discipline, and tier nine recovery with still having. I mean, I didn't even focus for tier six recovery, but tier six or tier six resilience. I mean, tier six resilience is not that bad. So um, what this will do is it will not only make it so Worm God is incorporated in this build or in this little armor setup, but you can equip it. And in-game, it'll put on the armor for you with the mods. So all you really have to do is click a few buttons. Optimize it how you want. And let's, uh, let's do my actual piece. So you can't really do the 10-10-10 without the help of a subclass, which is what I have. Um, but look, see, Worm God is incorporated. Now let's put let's put Syntheseps on, because I'm actually using Syntheseps. Syntheseps, right here. Tier 10, Tier 9, Tier 10. Tier 10, 
that's that's literally it's giving us what we want and i think them is probably the most user-friendly website for destiny users um, i can actually make a link in the description i can put destiny item manager down there if uh, you just want to click on that and head over um but i hope that this video helps and you are able to achieve the stats you've been desiring maybe even get that triple hundred stats if you do want to see more videos from me make sure to leave a comment down below with either any suggestions or any feedback you can give it is always appreciated as i am fairly new to this stuff uh thank you all for watching and i will see you all later peace